So we're officially off on our adventure. It's a travel episode. So today's video is about a topic I feel like everybody has been asking me about. And so prepare yourself for my top five tips for travel. Tip number one, this is gonna seem extremely simple and you're gonna probably ask why this is number one, but it makes the most sense, you know, in the timeline of things. Tip number one, get a list of places that you want to visit and prioritize which ones you want to visit first. This may seem really dumb and, you know, kind of pointless, but I feel like this tip helps you focus or narrow down what you want to see first. There are too many sites and places and cities and monuments and all these other things in the world to just have some wild dreams and wild imaginations about where you want to go without actually pinpointing a few places that catch your eye the most. So now, after you've narrowed down those few destinations that you really want to get to, Tip number two is turn your flight notifications on. Now, I don't know what apps or websites or anything that y'all use for, you know, flight purchases and searching, but I personally use the Hopper app and skiplag.com. Hopper, you can put in your destination, you can see what time of year the flights are the cheapest, and they'll send you notifications, they'll let you know when the price goes up, when it goes down you know all that type of jazz and when that cheapest price comes around it'll send you a notification and then you can snag it and you know you're on your way and skip lagged it just always seems to have the cheapest flights like everywhere else will have all the you know jacked up prices but skip lag finds that one or two tickets you know that are like 50 60 70 sometimes I found a uh, flight to Paris on Skip Lagged for $379. So, you know, you never know with Skip Lagged. But you have to be careful, word of caution, that you don't, um, you make sure you look at the layover because sometimes those layovers are really short and sometimes they are extremely long. So, tip number two turn your flight notifications on. Now, Scoot in close. The most important rule of thumb or you know the most pivotal part of traveling. Tip number three, find a fun group of people to travel with. Period. Me personally, I you know on most of the big trips that I've been on, I usually travel with the same group of people. These people have been consistent. These people always have their money on time. These people, you know, they're fun. They're adventurous. They love doing things. They love, you know, getting out and exploring. And these are my people. They, I've been doing trips with them since probably freshman year of college. And so once you find that consistent group of people that you can travel with, it makes all your travel plans just blossom into something even more beautiful. But keep in mind, keep in mind, please, you can't travel with everybody. Remember that. I'm going to just say this. Every friend you have is not meant to be your travel friend. I, you know, I've learned from experience. Take it from me. Just because you my homeboy or my homegirl, don't mean I gotta, you know, go to a different country with you. Cause some people you just cannot travel with. So be very careful when choosing that group of people you want to travel with. Now, tip number four. 
it's good to plan your trip and it's good to have, you know, some type of structure, but leave some room for flexibility. That, that's, that's my tip number four. The itineraries, and schedules, and planning ahead and everything, that has its place and it's necessary. But when you lock yourself into too tight of a schedule, you limit your opportunity for spontaneity. And spont spontaneity is you're walking down the street and you see something that wasn't advertised or you see something that you knew nothing about before you got there. If your schedule is too tight, you can't do it. You, you may be interested, but you, you're on your way to your next thing you put on the schedule. So, you know, do some research and schedule and, you know, um, and, you know, say, let's say if you're going to Paris and you want to visit the Eiffel Tower, throw that on there. But don't have every minute and every second and every hour of your day mapped out. You want to be able to go off the beaten path every once in a while. You want to be able to, you know, see a shopping mall or see a museum or something that you didn't expect. And you want to have time to be able to wiggle and, you know, explore just a little bit. If you have every moment of your day packed and, you know, your schedule is too strict, then you limit yourself um, to experience wherever you are, to experience that destination in its fullness. So don't lock yourself in to too tight of a schedule. And tip number five, and you can take this one within reason and within moderation, but tip number five is don't be afraid to try new things. If you're going to go to a foreign country and try to do everything that you can do in America or your home country or wherever you're from, you, once again, you're not getting the full experience. If you're gonna go to Brazil and you're gonna eat McDonald's and Hardee's and all these other American restaurants, you are not experiencing the culture. Now, I'm not saying you gotta eat or try or do everything, but be open to trying some new foods. Be open to learning a new dance. Be open to you know, exploring, be open to some adventure, that will really bring out the, the enjoyment in your vacation, in your travel, in your trips. I promise you. So I'm gonna give y'all a little bonus tip. So bonus tip one or tip number six, whichever one you wanna call it. Airbnb is your friend, but be sure to check the reviews. I have seen some extremely extravagant and nice Airbnbs that are for a phenomenal price. But I've also seen some Airbnbs that you might get stabbed in. So be careful, read reviews, do your research. We don't need you getting stabbed. So my brothers and my sisters, you have my five, top five tips for traveling. Now, these are my top five. These are the ones that really stuck out to me and have really enhanced my traveling experiences. But if you have some other tips, drop them below. Y'all know the drill. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I am all about people exploring the world and gaining new experiences because this world is too big to stay at home. So, as always, thank you for watching The Coleman Chronicles.